Hi, it's Dr. Jerome Fryer here. I'm just going through Stuart McGill's back mechanic self-assessment section. And we went over pain with spine flexion. And we went over pain with dynamic loading. Now I just want to talk a little bit about pain with neck flexion. And what does that look like? Well, the neck consists of seven cervical vertebrae. And when you bend your head forward, sometimes it presents pain in the lower back. And what's happening is that when you bend your head forward like such, of course the brain sits up on top here and attached with the spinal cord. So what it does is it actually pulls the spinal cord upwards. So it pulls the, the whole spinal cord all the way up from the bottom and it tractions it up. And if there is a disc that's protruding, or if there is a disc that's herniated, sometimes pulling the nerve roots up will actually abut, and it'll it'll touch the the uh, the disc, and that will present with symptoms. And often a patient will have relief when they put their head backwards, for example, like this because it creates some slack. I recently did some imaging with an upright MRI scanner. And you can see here, this is, you can see here, here's the, you know, here's the, the spinal cord right through here. And the brain, of course, here, the cerebellum. But when you bend your head forward, you can see that this actually created some increased tension in this spinal cord right here. So as you bend forward, the spinal cord actually got tractioned up. And interestingly, with this case here, there was a disc that actually pushed back and abutted the, the, uh, the spinal cord. And this is when this person presented with symptoms. So you can see that just the act of bending the neck forward can actually have an impact on discs, not only in the neck, but also in the lower back. So, you know, of course you want to avoid bending your neck forward and you want to try and keep it in neutral so the spinal cord isn't pulling up into those areas. So, uh, you know, of course you don't want to stretch this because nerves don't stretch very well at all. So uh, Stuart McGill's suggestion is just do not stretch. So, again, forward flexion will create tension in the spinal cord pulling it up and it may touch a disc that's protruded.